Victoria is heading for an incredibly dangerous Christmas and New Year period. It's been a hot and dry and yet at the same time, in some areas, an incredibly wet lead up to summer. Victoria averaged 155 millimetres of rain in spring. Sounds like a lot, but that's actually 14% below normal, with Gippsland and parts of northern Victoria getting bucketed, with the southwest and northeast along the South Australian border having below average rainfall. However, the average temperature was 1.85 degrees above normal, making it the 10th warmest since 1910. And some communities know too well there have been spring bushfires. But at the same time, parts of Victoria have been hit with torrential rain and floods. On the 4th of October, for example, 65 locations across the state recorded their highest daily spring rainfall on record. Mount Hotham had almost 200 millimetres that day, Malakuta had 111, while Lake Eildon and parts of Sale weren't far behind. The CFA says these sporadic downpours, coupled with the dry spring and a dry winter before it, means there's a lot of vegetation that can quickly turn to fuel for fire across the state. It's highlighted western and central Victoria here, as well as along the surf coast, as an area of increased fire risk due to fuel loads. And here in East Gippsland, where there's high levels of forest growth and regrowth from those devastating 2019-2020 blazes. But we're not alone. In fact, if we zoom out, the nation is looking at a hot and dangerous summer with parts of South Australia and most of New South Wales and Queensland highlighted as areas of increased fire risk. From January to March, maximum and minimum temperatures are forecast to be above average across Australia, while rainfall is likely to be below average.